Zrastoyita, which is hello and welcome back to season two, episode one of our FC Pripyat series. Um, you bring us right up to uh, the first game day. Before we go into the game itself, I just wanted to give you a quick update on to the teams that have come into the division, our expectations, uh, as well as the signings that we've made as well. So without further ado, let's uh, have a look at the teams that have come up, one of which being uh, Real Farmer. Uh, again, not not the biggest squad, so um, I've not really had a chance to check them out yet, but I, I, the, the league's going to do that for me anyway, as this league has a very quick way of, of um, sorting out the weak uh, from the strong, uh, we've also got Energy at NK. They're also uh, being promoted as well. Um, just trying to think now who's who who, who haven't seen before. Uh, Ch oh God, Chirakchina Academy Chukasi. I'm not going to be saying their name a lot. They're also up as well as well as uh, Bukovna Chernitvitsky. Uh, which essentially means that if we go to the league table and click up, we you can see that uh, who went up? Kramatorsk went up as champions. Zoya went up, I think, through the playoffs, and so did Volin as well. So uh, I don't know if we can actually see from the past who went down last year. Um, We'll, we'll look at that. We'll look at that later on. We're, we're not really too fussed about that for the time being. So uh, let's have a quick look at the transfers that have come in and out. Uh, we'll start obviously with uh, as we usually do with people that have left us uh, some of which you would have already seen they've just happened because the transfer windows opened again uh, so Konstantin Yatsuk went uh, to Sheriff Tiras Tiraspol uh, we knew that Polishuk was going Ribka where went to Obalon Brewer as did Martin Yuk two of our uh, highly highly uh, talented youth stars uh, Ilya Mikhailachenko went for free. He was never going to make it. German Semenyuk has gone on loan to Energy NK, who've just come up. Uh, and v Volodymyr Grebenyuk, who was our awful goalkeeper, managed to uh, get some money for him as well. Much below his value, uh, but you know he, he was he was never going to play for me. So. Um, so yeah, it's good to it's good to get him off the books at least. Anyway, and let's tell you a little bit more about the players that have actually come in. Um, Sergey. Taran, uh, good good winger, solid, um, 30 years old in the prime of his uh, career, happy to bring him on board. Danilo Kucha is just a goalkeeper that I found that's going to bring, um, he's probably going to be given the number one shirt, I think he's a little bit better than what we currently have. Uh, Timothy Sukka, who we've got on loan from Zoya, Zoya obviously got promoted, they've got this 20 year old who isn't quite ready for their first team yet so we've managed to bring him in on loan now um i think i've skipped him over him a little bit but he's got some very good um technical stats for a defender uh his mental ability needs a little bit of work but it's not like they're in ones and twos you know he's, he's not far off double figures um so yeah he, he will probably be a, a first team player we'll, we'll, we'll keep a keen eye on that uh, free transfer anton kotlia uh, has also come in um from Ver Verez Rivni. Uh, so yeah, he's uh, he, he's quite a good player. Good good current ability. Adapts well. Good temperament. Um, we needed some more players for the uh, for our uh, top bank of four that play behind the striker. So he's going to be brought in well. Um, we've spent on one player. Everyone else has been free or alone, as you can see, and that is Ruslan Zubkov, who. Again, uh, I've mentioned it in previous episodes, but halfbacks are really hard to come by, and he's actually a pure halfback, so he's going to be giving competition to Dryshuk. Um, and I've actually uh, compared them, and I'll, and I'll quickly show you guys as well now, if I can find him real quick. Dryshuk. Uh, do, 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 do you know what? The, the, they all sound so similar. Uh, so it's been a while now since I've actually had this save on. So there we go. Um, they're practically identical. Um, obviously, Dreisch looks uh, 25, Zubkov's 27. So they're both pretty much in that kind of uh, similar part in their career. So they're, they're, they're so identical. They're, they're going to be swapped over seamlessly throughout the course of the season as long as they don't get injured. And finally, Predrag pre Bosnijak, who has got good, strong overall... Um, Attributes, not obviously game changing, but he, he can play in that fullback position. Hungarian, 33, um, and he's in on loan 
uh, that we managed to uh, find through our scouting network as well. So that's pretty much it. We have got a couple of transfers that are still to happen. These are all to um, take place either in the January transfer window or the um, the da -da -da -da, the end of the season. Um, all youngsters. Um, one thing to, to note as well is that Meerkat has been um, heavily uh, sought after, but we've managed to hold on to him for the time being. Uh, so Nikita Shipelsky, uh, I've just basically gone off their potential attributes that have been recommended to me through my scouting network. So um, some are good, some not so good. Um, cut, two of which obviously I'm, I'm quite excited for, which is this one and the first one. Um, but obviously we can we can we can do another episode later on um, this season where, where they actually come um, into the squad and we can take a bit more of a closer look at them. But they are um, I'm, I'm still trying to really push through um, this this youth setup because our youth team is actually quite good um, uh, as well. Don't worry about Axinov; he's just there at the moment getting match fitness as well. Um, so yeah, we're pretty much ready to get started now. Oh God, I've already had to deal with an injury. It's only for one to two days though. And we have got covering that centre back department now, so I'm not too worried about that. Our first game of the season is, is against Obolov Brewer Kiev, who, if you remember from the last season, were pretty much uh, a direct rival in terms of uh, where we finish in the league. So uh, this is going to be a very good indicator of how we uh, probably look to set up. Um, before we actually play into the game, I'll just quickly check the uh, season preview. So if you remember, the first time we were 1,001, so basically 1,000 to 1 to, 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 go, to get finished as champions, I think this is. Um, and as you can see, we are now 4th at what is essentially 9 to 2, or 4.5 to 1. Um, it depends on how you, how you like your odds, but obviously I do them in decimal format. Dnipro are still favourites. They have strength in their own team. I have seen their, their transfers. Two of the relegated teams that come down um, as well. And obviously anyone who kind of came up from last season are uh, are all kind of the long odds as well to, to go up. But we've seen we've seen what we've seen stranger things happen. Uh, so oh, energy alone. I've now tried to. They're really trying to make waves by <laughs> raiding my youth setup and taking players on loan. But who's this? Um, Mikhailo Petrovsky. He's in my under twenty ones. No, he's not. Sorry, beg your pardon. He's actually my full, my first team. I, I, do you know what? I'm going to reject the offer based on the fact that. Um, I, I need I need um, fullback to stay in the team as long as possible. Um, so let's get this started. I think we're pretty much there. Uh, obviously Zubkov would be coming in, but he's he's not really got the fitness or the conditioning yet, or the sharpness, should I say? Uh, same with Kotlia. Uh, Taran hasn't got the sharp really a lot of sharpness. But to be honest, it's the start of the season, and I did actually do a heavy pre-season on um, fitness, but obviously that's it. Still takes time to get match ready um, as well. In fact. Pritikovsky is uh, in my lineup to actually start as my right wing back. Now, obviously, as you know, Kerchik got the uh, transfer of the season, uh, signing of the season uh, award. So he, he's. I think actually I'm going to start with him just because of that match sharpness. Um, Kircher, um takes over Danenko's place at the back. Um, we're pretty much there, I think. Um, we're still a little bit light up, up in the in the top bank of four section, um, but this guy seems okay. So uh, yeah, let's ju let's just get started anyway. Uh, and I know, I know there's people struggling for match fitness, but there's not much I can do about that. I'll bring them on a subs. They'll bring, build a bit of match fitness, and uh, you know as the season progresses, I'm sure we'll be fine. So yeah, uh, big game, big game today. We'll encourage them. I, I agree with that. Um, doesn't really do anything. We've got Ber obviously you can see here no pressure, but Berezovsky is still a, a, a young, very young centre back. But to be honest, he's come on so he, he's progressed so quickly in his uh, in in his training and his progression and stuff that he's now pretty much a first teamer, even though he's still um, got the contract of a, of a hot prospect. So Taran puts the ball across, <clears throat> gives another chance to whip it in. Again, Dirichuk. Ooh, he's not really known for his long shots, so. So you're not expecting too much. I've got three, I've got three sections of the league table. Then I'll sort that out in a second. But don't forget, this is the first game of the season, so there's a lot of stuff that I've not actually properly configured yet. I'm just keen to get this uh, this new season um, off and un underway. Oh, that's a terrible ball across. You need to win that back. You need to win that back. No, nope, it's going to be a chance for them. Ball comes across. Oh, he squared it. What a save on his debut, Danilo Kucha. Oh, uh, I, I will sort out that uh, th those frames in a minute. Frames. 
I want to say frames. Oh, the ball's come across again. He's keeping us. He's single-handedly keeping us in the game at the moment. And I feel like this this formation isn't. Uh, although I, I was going to say this formation isn't doing well for us, but we know that there's off, we've brought in a few players, and they're going to have to get used to the way that we play football as well. Um, ball comes across. They're just they're just making waves against us here. Let me just pause this for a second, while I, so we can actually give uh, a bit more information than what we currently are. Um, Da, 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 da. I always forget what I'm actually going to be putting in these these bits. Um, yeah, sure, okay, that'll do. Oh, straight away, another amazing save. He's quickly on his way to being player of the match here. Um, actually, enough. Plays it across. We're quick on the counter. Tara needs to whip the ball back across. Penalty. Not a penalty. Good tackle by all accounts. Okay, so. Actually, yeah. Do you know what we need? Uh, which I usually have is the match stat bars, isn't it? Not usually in this place, but... Wow, okay. Um, so I think with these kind of stats, it's probably going to be best if we maybe change it up a little bit. I'm, I'm tempted to go into just positive instead of attacking. Um, Taran picks the ball up. We haven't conceded yet, so it's good. Actually, enough. Hopefully he can cap recapture some of his form from last year. Oh, that's not a bad shot. That's not a bad effort. Um, slowly growing into this game half an hour in I'm tempted to tell him to get creative in a second keep it out keep it out he's going to cut it wide again close him down ball comes across <gasps> he nearly got away with that one that was a wicked deflection oh playing out from the back now apparently Nosarev Droish look massive ball over the top Rue 1 and he's fine it's Aksinov he's got to put that away chances are few and far between in this match and I feel like these are the kind of these are the kind of chances that we're going to need um, to play as well. Uh, right, boys, get creative. But we are going into this game. Ball comes across. Plenty of space. Kurchik gets robbed instantly. Beresovsky with the ball. Plays the ball across over the top. They've mopped it up fairly comfortably. Ball comes back out. They're going to have a counter chance here. This is a long highlight as well, so I would not be surprised if this ends in a goal to them. Drishlug with an amazing... Tackle, but then they just win the second ball, play it through to the biggest of holes. And we're 1 0 down. I've just time to get creative, and they're inspired, but I feel like giving them a bit of a rollicking. We have gone back into this game, though. Possession's there and everything. <laughs> Do we want to sympathise? I don't want to sympathise. Hmm. So what do we need to do here? What do we need to do? There's not much been coming from this side, is there? This chap here, this Kravchuk, just quickly to show you, he's uh, he's only 17, but I don't have many other wingers. Mashnin can play there. We'll give Mashnin a go. Yeah, he'll change things around for us. He played very well last season when we when we signed him. So um, happy to have held on to him for the start of this season. I can't take I can't take a start of the season like the same as we had last season where we were just bottom practically halfway through. Kolesnik, mm -mm -mm. chance after chance after chance for us. We just need to put one away. Martin Yuk would have. I wonder how he's getting on. It'd be keen actually to uh, to see how he is getting on. Although he actually signed for Oblon Brew, didn't he? So is he? And I really shouldn't stop in between games and stuff, but. Uh... He's on the bench. And he's on for loan. We might actually... I don't know what to do just for nostalgia's sake, but whilst I'm thinking about it, I want to... Oh, you know what? I'll do, I'll do it after the game. I might, I'm going to make a lo I'm going to make an effort to loan him. Right, this isn't going very well, is it? Who's, who's not performing well? Kalisnik can come from Kachekov. I feel like I need to put more nicknames in this team as well. Um, Axionov's not playing too well yet, but I didn't actually put my young striker on. Uh, and we'll try Kotliar as well. He's not got a lot of sharpness, but he's, uh, he's not the worst player in the world. Maybe he can pop up and give us a bit of... A bit of inspiration. Okay. Good. Good. That's a really wayward 
ball that comes across for Kirchich. Managed to bring it up. Penalty! Get in! Right. Best chance you're ever going to have, Axie enough to get off to a... Uh, to get off to a good start. Good lad! That's what we need! That's what we need. So... Yeah. It's, it's been a very, very 50-50 uh, game. Another highlight. Beresovsky. Takes the ball out like a young back about. Ball over the top. Axie enough! That's twice he's had one-on-one -on -one chances. And he's not been able to put it away. And we, if we get punished, we're going to play it out short. Nazarev, nothing stupid. Plays the ball over the top. Plays it down. Mashing in, picks up the ball. Carries it inside. Back to Mirkas. Mirkas playing very deep. Plays it forward again. Mashing in on the ball again. He's going to take a shot. Oh, it's nowhere near. It's nowhere near. He just dawdled into their, into their box. Just outside their box. And yeah, it didn't really go anywhere, did it? I'll take the 1-1. One -one. I'll take the draw. To be fair, not too fussed about that. Although we might have something here. We might have something here if we can win that ball, Druckschlick, which he does. Plays it across. Meerkat plays back to Dreischluck. Plays it across. Axie enough. Oh, he tried to get a turn away and just couldn't do it. They've robbed the ball off us. They're going to have one last chance, I think, if they punt this ball forward now. The keeper's got a chance. He's not managed to keep it in. I mean, he's managed to keep it in. Sorry, Kerchik plays it into the side, inside into Meerkat. Back to Kerchik. He runs inside again. Meerkat picks the ball. And he doesn't even have a shot when he's like seconds away from blowing the whistle. Blows the whistle. And we start the season with a draw. Um, yeah, sure. We appreciate it. I mean, last season, you know, that these these guys were, were, a big, uh, were a big rival. So we're happy with that. Martin Yuk. We'd like to take you on loan. They want 50%. I'm happy with that. We'll make the offer. Fine with that. Right. Uh, join me again. We're going to do one more. Uh, we're going to do one more in this save. Uh, ugh, I keep saying save. We're going to do one more match in this episode. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Right. Time for the second game. Just before we start, I wanted to show you something. Show you guys something um, a little bit interesting that I've just come across. Mashnin is wanted by FK Minsk. M Minsk. 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 So I thought, okay, let's have a check them out. Maybe, maybe a swap deal or something like that. Uh, and as I was scrolling through, I was like, that name seems familiar. Artem Rudnitsky. So I clicked on him, and he was like, yeah, that was our player that went to Hernik for 11k. He played six games, and then FK Minsk. Minsk. How do you say Minsk? Minsk. Um, came and came and bought him. So took him across to Belarus. So. Um, yeah, and I don't know why that's relevant. I just thought it was interesting to see. I, I do like to keep an eye on players that once played for me and obviously see how their career um, progresses. Uh, so I think we're pretty much there. A lot of centre-backs that I don't need. Um, not sure if can stay at home. Um, right. Let's give this a go. Uh, you probably noticed as well that that... Um, uh, if I can quickly show you again, I know I go off on a tangent from time to time. Um, I'll show you afterwards. But the the uh, youth intake superstar uh, that was that was on our books, uh, it still is on our books. So I shouldn't really say it isn't. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da, where is he? Where is he? Is he? Did I put him in the first team? I can't remember now. Bear with me a second. Hold the line, call up. No, he's not there. Is he in the, back in the under 19s? Yeah. Tarashuk. Um, he's still about. He's uh, he's still coming on well. Um, he's a little he's still a little bit away. Maybe maybe towards the latter half of the uh, the latter stage of this season. Um he might get a call up, but uh, right boys. Cautious. Go out there and impress me. These uh metalists obviously we lost one game and won one game against them. I've gone for a cautious approach because we're away from home. How long that stays cautious remains to be seen. But um, hopefully we'll register our first victory for the uh, for the episode and for the season. Um, a loss would be devastating. Because as you can see, Arsenal Kiev, who came down last season, are already making waves in the league, as are Chorno Moretz. Uh, good save, Kutcher. I'm loving this guy. As we've, as we've been inundated with terrible goalkeepers so far, it's nice to actually have someone who's uh, quite comfortable between the sticks. Come on then, lads. Half an hour in. We're not conceding for fun. Meerkat on the left-hand side. Whips one in. Win that ball. Mop it back up. Dreuschluck plays it back. He's looking to look for an op what, option wide. 
Simeo Simeo Gug uh, tries it. He's still down the, down the left hand side. He plays back inside. Koshikov's going to probably have a shot. <gasps> Close to Taran. Taran scores his first goal of the season. His first goal for the club. And what a time to get it. Very good. Okay. Good start, boys. Very good start. We're all over them. Possession wise and everything as well. Happy. Uh, keep it as is for the time being. I'm going to tell them that I'm happy with them. I don't know how much of an impact, like, half time team talks and shouts and stuff from the touchline actually make a difference, but in my head, I like to think they do. Right, one more goal just to just to keep it clear. I mean, look at this for shots and shots on target, but of course the highlight force a chance to then ball gets whipped across. Oh, what a save! Not not the most comfortable, but it didn't go over the line, which is the main thing. Big ball gets whipped backwards, gets nicked. As you know, picks his pocket. He's through one on one. It's three one on ones now that he's not put away. I feel like that might have to be something to go on the training ref. Yeah, we'll have, we'll take that free kick. Yeah, it's going to be something that's on the training. Training field so needs work. Near cat hits the wall. Highlight over. They're starting to make their way back into this game a little bit. So, um, time for a change. Uh, Axion of because of that. Can we play? Can I listen to I've not even really thought of him as a as a advanced forward. What's that like? Not great. Um, but in my team, if you're not if you're not proving your worth, then you get a spell on the sidelines. As is Kravchuk at the moment as well. It's not having the greatest time. Uh, but I'm just tempted to see who's better in which position. Oh no 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 that way. Sukar can come on as well for Shevchuk. Get him some sharpness. Let's go. I don't know whether it's quite sensible to, to replace a centre back when you want to look away from home, but sod it. We're up to fifth. Very, very comfortable for Danilo. Take a 1 0 here. Puts us in a good position to uh, push on. Yeah. Very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Terran gets his first goal of the season. First goal for the club. Metalists get brushed aside. Appreciate your efforts. Well done. So, yeah. As you can see from the uh, league table, we start the uh, season and end this first episode in sixth place, having won one and drawn one. Um, just have a quick look at our next few games. We've got, ignore this one, this was an oversight on my part, I hope we, hope we lose it against Zoya, but I uh, I didn't think the season started as early as it did, um, so yeah, we've kind of got a pre-season match in the middle, but you know, fitness and all that, it should be fine. So, uh, Prickar Pacha, um, I need to find a way actually of where you find the uh, previous meet. oh looks like they're past meetings, but it's there's nothing, that oh that's because I've got two selected, past meetings. Uh, so Prickar we have lost heavily to and beat heavily, so that's good to know. And Hernik we'll have a look at as well and then we'll leave it there. Hernik, we have never beat them. We've never even got a point against them. We've lost 2-0 and 3-1. So um, something to aim for. Well, we'll leave it there. Uh, I'm going to go a few games ahead. We'll probably pick things up in August sometime. Um, potentially around the Kubok Ukraini second preliminary round, see if we can go one one better than we did last season. But uh, that's it for now. So, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy this uh, the start of this second season. Um, the, way, the way it started, I'm thinking that, you know, top top half's definitely um, on the cards and maybe a cheeky push into the promotion place as well. But we'll leave it there. So until the next episode, you take care.